When was the first time, as a child, you can remember becoming aware of chemistry? The first time was when I was visiting my uncle at his research laboratory at his university. Um, and I was only, I think, maybe 10, 11. And he's a physicist. But what he showed us was uh, we went to his lab and he poured out liquid nitrogen onto the floor. And for me, that was, it blew my mind. I was just, how, how is this possible? He's generated this, it was like he was a magician. He'd conjured smoke out of th th thin air, uh, pouring this dew of liquid nitrogen, spilling out across the floor. You saw this kind of smoke effect, the kind of things you'd see like on um, theater stages, that sort of thing. And I just thought, I want to be able to play with that. Um, and now I can. My first real hook, I guess, was at A-levels. And uh, as always, there's a girl involved. Uh, there was an after-school club in chemistry, and this girl I really liked went along to this club. So I thought I'd better get interested in chemistry too. Uh, as it turned out, the chemistry was far more interesting than the girl. Um, and it hooked me. It really did. We were making uh, catalysts at the time. Um, and tiny palladium nanoparticles as well, which are still are some of the smallest ever made. I think I was probably about seven years old, and my granch, granch is a Welsh word for grandfather, yeah? And when my granch bought me a chemistry set for Christmas, and we played with the chemistry set on the kitchen table, and Nan was really, really irritated. But, yeah, that was the first time I met chemistry, but then chemistry sort of disappeared until I got to secondary school. And I had a really great chemistry teacher, a guy called um, Dave Livesey. And he really ignited my passion for chemistry because he showed us reactions. And he, and he showed us how electrons moved in, inside atoms and around molecules. And I suppose that was, that was the bit where the hook was set. And that was when I really started to get excited about chemistry. One Christmas I had, um, I think it was the Junior Encyclopedia of Knowledge. Um, and, and in there there, was, there were various descriptions of world flags and all of that sort of thing as well. But there were also, um, there was also two pages on, on chemistry. And um, the two pictures that I remember seeing in there um, were, they, they had this kind of description about, they had a picture of um, like sodium on fire or whatever. Um, sort of, you know, kind of you know, in water and the hydrogen coming off and everything like that. And they also had a picture, it was like a painted picture of a guy with like a big suit on and um, with a chlorine coming out of a pipe. Um, and basically the whole point was that, that, that sodium is, is very reactive and chlorine is very reactive, very poisonous. And you put them together and you basically make table salt. And I think that was when I thought, oh, the chemistry is actually quite cool. probably when I started GCSEs at secondary school, so I was about 11 at the time, and it, uh, who, Miss George was my teacher, and she taught me for, I think, all the way through my GCSEs, and she really, really got me into chemistry. And then that followed up in A-levels, uh, two teachers called Ian Nichols and Dennis Black. They were fantastic, really inspirational teachers, and they really got me into chemistry. Oh... I don't know, but I would guess I was about 10 and it was probably in science class in primary school. Pretty much from, from the time I was certainly a young teenager, I wanted to be a chemist. I suppose when I was 9 or 10, when I was reading a science book that belonged to my mother, I've still got it here. It's, it's a rather strange book. It's an American book that was written in 1903. And it's a dialogue between big brother Jack and various children called Tom and Agnes, and I've forgotten the other names. And he gives them science lessons. And they went off to the druggist store and bought all sorts of chemicals like gunpowder, sulfuric acid, and did experiments. And that was the first time I'd heard of chemistry. To begin with, I preferred physics to chemistry, but my maths wasn't really good enough. And when I was young, I had a very good memory, so it made chemistry particularly easy. 
So I quite quickly drifted to chemistry, and I really liked the colour changes and the smells in the lab and so on.